In this lesson, we are going to use Material UI as a UI framework for our project. We're going to add a header and show brand name and card menu in the header bar. And also at the end, we will have a footer to show Cool Shop 2021. Let's implement this feature. Here is the plan to design Material UI layout. First of all, we need to install Material UI slash core. Open a new terminal and npm install at sign material dash UI slash core. And the next step is going to be creating a new file inside pages. Right click new file and set file name to document.js put underline before document. It's a special file that will run in the server side. And what we're going to do is to import material UI style in this file. First of all, import React and then import some objects from Next.js, including document, HTML head, main, and Next script. And we are going to import server style sheets from material UI. In this file, we need to create a class based component like this. Its name is my document and it extends document from Next.js document and define a render function. And in the render function, we are going to define an HTML object. Inside HTML object, we need to define head from Next.js. Inside that, what I'm going to do is to import fonts from font.googleapi.com. By having this code, we import font Roboto from Google. Let's go for the body section. In the body section, we're going to include main section and next script. That's it about the component. And what we want to do is to define get init props for my document. Let's define it right after defining this component. Define get init props. Inside this function, what we're going to do is to render app and page and get the context of the page with collected side effects. First of all, we define sheets from server style sheet from material UI and then get the render page and save it as a original render page. Great. After that, we are going to update the render page of the context and use original render page. But this time we use sheets from material UI and call the collect function of sheet to apply the style sheet to the application. Next step is going to be getting initial props. In this line, I get initial props from document in Next.js. And at the end, I'm going to return this object, including initial props and style that comprises of the React style based on initial props and also the style from Material UI. By having this document, rendering Material UI styles and elements will be smooth and without any problem in server and client side. The last change that we need to have to apply this setting is opening app.js. And inside app.js, we need to define use effect and it will run right after mounting this component. And what we did here is to select the JSS server side. And if it does exist, we remove JSS style from the parent element. We're not going to duplicate material use UI style in server and client. Next step. In the next step, we are going to create a layout component inside component folder, right click new file and set file name to layout.js. It's going to be used in all pages and it's like a wrapper to add 
style and material UI, default material header, footer, and content to all pages. First of all, we need import React from React. And then let's create the component. The component is going to be like this, export default function layout. And the default props are children, commerce public key, and the title. And the title is cool shop. In the body of this function, what I'm going to return is a React fragment like this. Inside React fragment, let's define head section. The head section set the car set to UTF-8, set the title. And here the title is a combination of the title that we set. And we concatenate that with the site name. For site name, let's make it simple, cool, shop. That's it. And the icon inside favicon.ico, it's in the public folder, this one. And also set meta viewport to make it perfect in mobile screens. After creating head, it's time to create a temp provider to use temp provider from material UI and also CSS baseline to add the basic style to our layout. Let's import temp provider from material UI like this. It's going to be at sign material UI slash core. Good. For CSS baseline, let's import that. And inside theme provider, we defined theme. For theme, what I'm going to do is to define a file to create a theme. Inside util.js, right click new file and set file name to styles.js. Inside style.js, let's import create theme and make style. And then let's define a theme like this. Here is the theme object. For theme object, I'm gonna set typography for heading one, heading two, and heading three. I just change the font size and margin. And for color, the color is palette object in theme to this colors yellow. Great, let's define style too. I'm going to define a style like this. Use a style using make a style. And inside that, let's define style for app bar, toolbar, toolbar title. Let's go to style here. And I'm going to import that from utils style. Great, let's continue styling layout. I'm going to create a app bar here. And here I'm using classes.app bar. So I need to define classes like this. Right before return, define user style and import user style from utils slash style. Next step inside app bar, we need to define toolbar. Inside toolbar, define a link and it's the header link. I'm using site name here and the site name is cool shop. Open app.js and for use effect, let's import it and then go to index.js. And here, what I'm going to do is to wrap main inside layout, get rid of content before main and after main, only keep main here and define layout like this. Move the main content inside layout and then import layout from component slash layout. Go to layout.js and import head from next slash head and also import app bar from material UI and toolbar. Also, we need to import next link from next slash link. But the link itself should be imported from material UI. Here is the result. We have cool shop. It's a header, but there is no content. Let's fix that inside layout. We need to render children too. After app bar, create container for children. 
like this. We need to import container from material UI. Scroll up and import container here. Aha. Uh -huh. Here we have a header and products. Next step, create a footer like this. Right after container, create a footer and import box from material UI. Scroll up, paste box in the import section and typography like this. For site name, make it cool shop. If you scroll down at the very end, you have a footer like this. Great. In the header, I'm going to add a nav section to show a menu for card. It's going to be like this. Card and next link. We need to implement card screen later. Aha. Uh -huh. We have a header. In the left side, we have brand name. In the right side, we have card link. And at the end, we have a footer that shows Cool Shop 2021. And we have list of products here. For next session, we are going to style the products. Until next lesson, bye-bye.